Welcome back Central Georgia. We are one week away from football Friday nights and we're continuing our high school football coverage here at 13 WMAZ. Today we visit the West Lawrence Raiders who are looking to keep the ball rolling after their best season in more than a decade. Their best season in over a decade and tied for the best season in Raiders history, the Blue and White went 11-2 and, and took a trip to the Elite Eight before losing to the eventual 3A champion, Blessed Trinity. One other team went 11-2 and two back in the 90s, um, but statistically we broke several offensive records and defensive records, so I'm going to claim that title. They'll have to replace 18 starters in a loaded senior class. A.J. Mathis, the school's all-time leader in completions and touchdowns, and Brent Carr, the all-time reception yards leader. Look for six foot four Tyler Franks to catch a lot of balls. Right. Ready, ready. And the QB duties likely fall to former starting receiver Bradley Wilson. Uh, you know, he's one of the, the most competitive, if not the most competitive kid on our team. An outstanding athlete uh, is already committed to play Division I baseball at Mississippi State, so he's got a big arm. Uh, you know, he's a pitcher, so, you know, he's a guy that's, that we're going to put back there first and, and kind of get the ball in his hands to do what he can do. McLean acknowledges this will be a very different team than last year, but it's a team that knows how to win. But the good side of it is these guys have done nothing but win since they've been in the program. You know, never had a losing season at West Lawrence, uh, this senior class, so they're going to go out expecting to continue that success. Uh, you know, because winning is, is a contagious thing. You know, once you can get a program believing they can win, uh, even when you're not as talented, a lot of times just that mentality will kind of overcome some of that lack of talent. As long as his guys fly around, McLean says they'll be just fine. It's a growth process for those guys. They got to learn what Friday nights are about, and, uh, and they got to learn that, hey, you know, everything's not going to go my way. Or there's going to be adversity, and we got to be mentally tough enough to respond and overcome that adversity. The Raiders will open up their season Friday against Blackley County. That does it for me, Avery Braxton, 13 WMAZ Sports.